Today, guys, I'm going to give you a handbag review on an MZ Wallace bag that I just picked up, and it is the Chelsea Petite Shoulder Bag, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on this and show you how it wears on the body, as well as packing a few things in there so you can see exactly what it holds. So let's go ahead and get started. <music> So this is from MZ Walls and it is the Chelsea style in the petite shoulder. It does retail for $175. And I'm going to show you all of this, but I have left the tag on it because this one is going back for me because of this pocket right here. So I don't know if everyone's looks like that, but mine looks misshapen right here and I just cannot handle that. So I like the exterior pockets to give it a little bit more room because these exterior pockets do not take any space away from the inside. but this one right here is fine, but you can see this one looks a little lopsided to me. And when you're trying to get into this bottom one to put things, this one kind of gets in the way. And I'm not really sure what you can even fit in this. You could put some chapstick in here or something like that, but nothing really big or substantial is gonna go in this one. So I would have liked better if it just had two pockets exactly the same as this one. And that would have been nice because you could have fit a little bit more things in there. I'm going to go ahead and go through all these features because I have the bag here before I return it and I think a lot of you may end up liking this bag. So it's in the sand shell color which I really liked this color. It's a great neutral for all of summertime so I really liked it for that reason and you can wear it two different ways. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag. So I'll show it to you right here. It comes with that strap. Now it doesn't have too much of a drop. It is going to hit right under the arm so if you have a bigger coat or something on if you were wanting to use this for like winter time, it's not really gonna fit very well that way, but it also has this additional strap that is adjustable for you to put it over your shoulder. If you wanna just still carry it over the shoulder like this, or you can carry it also cross body. This has gold trim and the slider is very easy to slide this if you want to adjust it for a cross body style. So let me just show you how that would look also. So it does lay really nice. I think it's a cute shape. That's why I really like this because I've, Love the versatility. If you wanted to use it as like a date night bag, you could carry it over your shoulder. Or if you wanted to wear it crossbody and be hands free, it's a cute size, lays really good against the body. The strap right here, as you can see, has a glossy finish to it. And then you have that seat belt material strap that also is adjustable if you want to wear it crossbody. You've got your MZ Wallace down here at the bottom. And then you have these three outer pockets. So you've got this nice size that you could probably fit some hand sanitizer, your keys, or something like that in there. But then I did want to show you that when you're trying to unzip this bottom one and get into it you kind of have to zip around and this one gets in the way for me but you do have a little bit of room where you can sit something in that as well and then you have this top pocket it is a full zip on the top and then you have this little tail at the end of this where it will give you additional room to open up the bag and so as you can see on the inside it does have the leather trim for the back and then you have your privacy zipper and then on the inside you also have those two additional cargo pockets that are on side of this so you can fit anything that you want to in there and then you have those two additional pockets and then on the front wall you do have your leather trimmed two cargo pockets in the front of that as well so this is the size of it and i'm just going to put a few things in there so you can see what would fit okay so i didn't pack this how i would pack it on a daily outing i just kind of wanted to show you a reference of some things so you could see what does fit in here so in this front pocket i did put some hand sanitizer and it is a two ounce and I had to put it sideways because standing up, it wouldn't zip around that. And then I just didn't put anything in these two, but a chapstick does fit in that one because I did check. On the main part, I wanted to show that a candle would fit. So a candle in a case does fit standing up in that, if that was a question. And then a full size wallet fits in there. I tried to put my hard case sunglass case in here and it does not fit. It would not zip. I couldn't stand it up in these cargo pockets because they were a little bit too short too. So basically all you're going to fit in here are essentials. You're going to fit a full size wallet in here, or you could fit a little bit more if you wanted to use one of the smaller wallets and put it in one of these cargo pockets and a phone, your keys, a little bit of lip products or something like that. That's all you're really going to be able to fit in this. But I also wanted to show you how this looked when it is packed as the crossbody bag. So when you are wearing it as a crossbody, of course you can detach this. I just have both of them on there for video reference, but just disregard that. 
because that would be off if you were wearing it crossbody. So it still lays really nicely, even when it's packed up, but it just doesn't hold a whole lot. But that's to be expected because this is a petite style. So if you are looking for something just for some necessities, this is really cute, and this color is gorgeous. This sand shell color is just such a beautiful color. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this review on the MZ Wallace Chelsea Petite Shoulder Bag in the sand shell color. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I would love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button. I do weekly videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Hope to see you in my next video, and until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.